involved in a dispute with his neighbours, and the judge was told that under the name Barry Williams, he'd killed five people, including his neighbours, in 1978, crimes for which he was held in a secure mental hospital until 1994. Sky News say they're saddened by the apparent suicide of a woman they'd accused of spreading abuse on the internet about the parents of Madeleine McCann. The body of Brenda Leyland was found at a hotel in Leicestershire. A reporter had confronted her a few days earlier. She'd said she'd had a right to her opinions. An expert on social media, Carl Miller, says the law on internet comments is clear. If you actually look at the law that's on the books, trolling is probably illegal. The Communications Act and the Malicious Communications Act has wording in both of them which says that it is illegal to send a communication uh, deliberately which is offensive or grossly indecent, which is basically the definition of trolling. Sri and Dewani from Bristol has formally denied murdering his wife on their honeymoon in South Africa. The trial in Cape Town is expected to last for several weeks. The Business Secretary Vince Cable has accused his Conservative coalition partners of trying to destroy the welfare state. Mr Cable told the Liberal Democrat Party conference in Glasgow that Tory plans to cut spending by a further £25 billion after the next general election would do great harm to key services. So as you can see this is formal because the reporter speaks correctly and in the Queen's English the reports are detailed and they don't just give a summary of the current events um, it's a bit more detailed um, and this is because they're aimed at mainly middle aged and above people and people of like middle class and upper class um, and commercial radio stations um, will have like world like main news which appeal to like a wider audience um, and for example like this could be Heart FM and also they have like adverts and other stuff in it to make it more rounded uh, or target audience most commercial radio stations are local or regional and are owned by one of Global Bureau and UTV. Its income is generated through advertisements and sponsorships throughout the broadcast. News broadcasts can be more targeted towards certain regions, cultures and genders. And um, community radio stations um, serves um, geographic communities and the communities of interest. They often cover very local and or specific news which is um, relatable to the range of audience locally and they're usually owned by the community so they serve and they're a non-profit and this is uh, always a good platform for potential broadcasters to gain industry experience often run as online stations and this helps to keep the cost lower and the news is fairly basic and they rely on like second hand clips so they're not making a load of their own stuff to keep the budgets low and they're less professional and an example of a community radio station is the Henley Regatta radio and small scale radio stations can be like smaller than community stations because they would have an even smaller target audience range and these stations re um, are used for colleges and institutes etc and college radios would have a small focus group and targeted primarily at the college students of that specific college not any other ones and no one really nearby unless they had to do with the college would really have interest in any of the news going on um, but it is a very a very closed target audience and the KCC Live is an example of a small scale radio because that was a um, college radio and other forms of radio stations 
there are local which just provides really local news and quite small not like um, commercial ones and there's regional where for example is a BBC Berkshire which covers uh, like a slightly larger area which is Berkshire rather than just which is a county rather than just a um, small area like a college or something that's less than a county and then you can also get internet and cable and satellite and the internet radio stations are often low funded as it's just on the internet really although you can get most radio stations online for example BBC they all have all of their radio stations BBC Radio 1, BBC Radio 2 and all of them online and um, but if they're just on the internet normally college radio stations are just on the internet it is easier to access so a lot more accessible to the students and again lower budget and the satellite stations you can easily access from the TV so yeah that is the radios thank you for having me Mr. Presenter